Yasuke here and today I'm going to show you how to make baked chicken and macaroni and cheese and uh, and um, some instant mashed potatoes. There's been some of you who asked me to uh, show recipes and show you my little skills or whatever. But if you don't know how to cook, there's there's always a simple not gourmet method to make your food. Feel me? And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that. What I'm doing right now is I'm turning on my TV so I can so I can see, you know what I'm saying, my stream. While I'm doing this. So I know you guys can hear me properly and whatnot. Feel me? That's all I'm doing right now. Um, at this particular moment, uh, one of my, one of the YouTube fam, uh, Okay, yeah, y'all can hear me. At this particular moment, one of the YouTube fam, L. Diener Productions, is playing a video game. Hey, Vinny, what's good, fam? Is uh, playing uh, Super Mario RPG, the remake for Switch. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and check that out at your earliest convenience. Um, there's probably other people that are uh, streaming right now, but that was the only one I saw for now. Got my little stand here. I gotta set this up. Now, when it comes to streaming, for those of you who don't know, I'm not very structured. I just do it on the fly. And today will be another one of those days. A non-structured, on-the-fly stream. Ooh. What you here? What you here? Oh, God. I have nothing to hold you up. <laughs> Put you right here. Oh, that's how, that's how we do it. There we go. There we go. All right. Are you coming to the social expo again? That's in uh, July, right? June, July. Yeah, I, I plan on it. You feel me? As long as uh, I got, I can. Uh, if I don't have work, that's the only thing. If I have work, that might be an issue. Oh, so I was supposed to stream yesterday. <laughs> what happened was I took a nap. It was about, it was about, I don't know. It, it was about, uh, I want to say like three. It's like three o'clock. I took a nap or what I thought it was a nap. And uh, when I opened my eyes again, it was 10 o'clock. It was like 10.30 at night. I was like, what the hell? What happened? I thought I got drugged. <laughs> but uh, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I've been working a lot. So I guess, you know, the sleep has uh, caught up to me. So I'm doing it today. All right. I'm going to plug this in. I don't know if this works. I have a little microphone on here. Plug this in. I don't know if it will. So, uh, let's look over here on the TV. See where I'm at. Okay, it obviously works. Ty Lord, what's good, fam? Thanks for coming through. Today will be baked chicken. <laughs> baked chicken. An easy, simple method, right? I'm not going to do a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff that I normally do. I'm going to do it the, the the most simplest way so people can emulate it. Um, there's been a lot of people, at, well, not a lot, but uh, some people on Twitter, or when it was Twitter, right, has asked me to, like, make some stuff. And uh, I haven't actually did it because... I just didn't know how to. But it's 2024 and I'm not having it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> we have light. All right. So 
I gotta figure out where I'm going to place this phone. Oof, what's good, fam? Happy New Year to you, too. Let me get the chicken. I don't know where you guys shop. Me personally, I like to shop at uh, Costco, right? But any old chicken will do. You can get Foster Farms or, you know what I'm saying, Tyson, you know, whatever you want. I like thighs. You know I, mean? I got these uh, thighs here. I'm going to use this today. And uh, let me get a pan. I'll be right back. Oh, so you grab your bacon seat. All right? Enough for the chicken. Uh, you want to, you want to preheat your oven, right? Always check to see if there's something in there before you do that. You want to preheat your oven. I like to keep it at 350. 350, 45 minutes, that's all you need. Okay? 350, 45 minutes. And, uh, before you do anything, Lorenzo. Hey, Lorenzo. Yes, Mr. Sleeve Stack. What's good, fam? Thanks for coming through. Before you touch any food, always wash your hands. All right? Always wash your hands. Always. Even if you just wash your hands, do it again just because. <laughs> Some people don't. Before I open this chicken up, before I open the chicken up, I mean, I can do it whenever. I like to put foil in the uh, bacon sheet because I don't like to clean. And it's, it's better if you put the foil down, right? And you feel me? Because that's less cleanup. I'm all about... Keeping it a little, you know what I'm saying? It look alright. Keep it a little clean up in here. Especially when I'm cooking. Because the last thing you want to do is make some, And then you sitting there. Sitting there. And all your stuff is just piled up. And nobody wants to do it. And so I do it while I, uh, while I cook. I cook and clean at the same time. Winko. I don't like Winko. I'm not going to lie. I, every time I walk inside of a Winko, I don't know. I just get this bad feeling. Like the food is bad or something. Cheap prices and food. I don't know. I, I don't feel I, I don't feel all right with it. Show y'all how to do this. I'll do that. Can you see this? I can't see it. All right. So put it in. Feel me? Make sure that MF is covered all the way. Because there's going to be some grease. Check it. It's going to be some grease. Got one side. I got to put one on the other side. And I wasn't going to do this, but I am going to do it. Sometimes, there's, there's three ways you can make it, and you know what I'm saying, in a simple method. The first way is you can just put it on a pan and put it in the oven, and then you die. 
or if you want your the the skin of your chicken to be a little bit thicker you're gonna cover it with foil that's what we're gonna do today pan feel me now if you don't want it to stick if you get the if you get the expensive foil right where it doesn't stick you can do it that way but I like to yeah I like to grease up my uh, thing with it you can use olive oil I'm actually running out of olive oil yeah I ain't got no olive oil so we won't cheat with Pam. Boom. That's it. Okay. Put this over here. And then. Uh, what's up, uh, Sir Jacob and LCX? My kitchen is very clean. Well, thank you. I try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? It's not it's not top notch. It's not top notch. But uh you feel me? I keep it I keep it a little simple. Keep it a little simple. How you guys been? I've been working a lot, so I you know what I'm saying? I ain't really been I shit. I don't even have time for my own channel. So I haven't really been around, you feel me? But, uh, how y'all been? I'm gonna open this up. Okay. Always clean your chicken. You feel me? When you when you buy a chicken in a package, I don't know if you guys know or feel it, but there's always this like uh, slimy stuff, right? With the uh, chicken. Wa wash that off. Yes, it's edible, but you don't want to eat that stuff. So wash it off. That's what I'm about to do. Take a little piece of chicken. And get all that preservatives off of it because you can't digest preservatives it messes up your immune system make you fat you feel me make you unhealthy Woo. see that see that that's what i'm wiping off i don't like to consume that and i can taste it when i when it's not done Food, your food tastes different when you don't wash it. All right. And then I put it skin down in the pan. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Oh, bye, Ty Lord. Wipe it down, leave out the excess water, skin side down. I might have too much chicken, but that's all right. But yeah, like I said, I shop at Costco for my meats. Well, shit, I shop at Costco for everything. But any chicken, right? Any chicken that you get, whether it's thighs, breasts, legs, or wings. Ugh. Ugh. 
thighs, legs, breasts, or wings. Uh, any company. It don't have to be Kirkland, which is a Costco brand. It's all going to cook the same uh, for this simple method. Jelly, jelly. <laughs> hey, what you know about those uh, Smucker's peanut butter and jelly? That shit be the bomb. I, I literally take that to work every day. That's my lunch. Smucker's peanut butter and jelly, those little circle things in the white bread. Also, if you pulled out too much chicken like I did, show you something. If you pulled out too much chicken like I did, it's okay that your chicken touch each other, right? While it's cooking. Show you. Show you. Like, like I ain't got no room for no more. So I gotta push these together so I can make another row. And yes, I'm fat. I eat a lot. I'm not the only one eating. The oven preheated. I'm a little bit behind time because, yeah, PB and J slap. Yeah, that's the Smuckers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, what's good, the shiny hunter? What's good, fam? Emperor of the Xbox space. Hey, what the fuck? Sometimes cooking be nasty. And I don't know what it was attached to. Because I got all my little oyster pieces on all of them. So that was just an extra piece thrown in. That's nasty. Definitely mine. It's the biggest piece. Uh, 
Oh, let me say this now. I don't eat, uh, <laughs> I'm only 5'7", about 5'8", right? And I'm about two, 240 pounds. So I don't eat healthy. But this is a healthy meal. It's not fried, it's baked. But we're going to make it a little bit unhealthy. I'm going to show you. My hands again. All right. That's the major part. Major part done. Cleaning the chicken, putting it on the pan. Now for the best part. The seasoning. I'm put y'all over here. Let's see how this gonna work. See how this gonna work. Let me get a plate. Get a plate. All right, let's see. All right, that worked a little bit. That worked a little bit. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that. What if I go like this? Y'all see that? Y'all can see that. I just don't want it to fall. Cause if it fall. All right, y'all can see. All right, cool, cool. All right. Here's the chicken. I got it on the back, and I told you why. Now, I'm going to tell you why now. I'm about to uh, I'm about to uh, season this on both sides. So, I want to season the back first. Let's get some seasoning. I'm Creo. So this is a staple, Tony Saturies. You can use whatever seasoning you want. We got some Kinder Wood. What does that say? Wood fried garlic. This shit slap. It's good. That's two. If you don't have any chopped onion, right? If you don't got any like dehydrated chopped onion, you can chop up some onion. You don't really need no onion. I just like to throw it in there because it give me a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? No, I need something for the back. Yeah, I need something for the back. So we're going to do cayenne pepper. All right, so we're going to do some cayenne pepper on the back, right? And then I'm going to flip it over. We're going to do the cayenne pepper now. This is easy. You just drizzle it on. Make sure it's all covered. Some people like to rub it in. I would, but I'm doing the simple method today. Okay. Cayenne pepper done. That's done. I don't need to put nothing else on this. I will. I will though. See, I got all these, I got this whole section, shit, my weed, all right, uh, oh, I got some more, oh, shit, we, we, we loading up the onion today, all right, um, what's this, lemon pepper, oh, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do, <coughs> All right, 
So this is what I'm gonna do. This is, oh, Black Money Corp. What's good, fam? Let's see where we, where we at. Where we at? Y'all got that? All right. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a little zesty with it, and I'm gonna squirt it with the lemon and the lime, just so it can like be on the bottom. I ain't open this stuff yet. All right, there we go. Do the lime first. Remember, you can season your chicken with whatever you want. with the lemon. Just a drizzle. All right, we done with that. Now we're gonna flip them out. Now, what I like to do, right, what I like to do, I'm trying not to put my face in my chicken. What I like to do is I like to peel back the skin, feel me, and season that. So that first bite is where it's at. Some people, they just they just season the, the outside, and then you, 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 you taste chicken, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but... Everybody like my chicken. I, I ain't never heard no complaints about none of my cooking. The only person that don't like my cooking is myself. Every few, every so often, I, I find a way to, uh, you know what I'm saying, impress myself. But nine times out of ten, I don't like my own food. But everybody else do, so I know I'm doing it right. We got the skin exposed, you feel me? Let me wash my hands. That's better. Got some light. Hopefully they don't fall either. All right, so I'm going to put the garlic on the inside, right? The garlic going to go on the inside, and we're going to hit it with some other stuff, too. Recognize that I have not put salt on anything yet. This is the only thing that has salt on Tony Santry's. There's a reason for that. Now for the secret ingredient. Don't tell nobody. Okay. So there is a there's two methods, right? That you can do this. If you want your chicken to have flavor all the way through it, you poke one hole with it, with a fork. One hole. If you want to keep all of your juices, don't poke no holes. What I'm about to do, just put this back. Oh, yeah. All right, we good. What I'm about to do is I'm about to put some butter in there. 
putting some butter underneath the skin. Now it's gonna make it smack. Watch, let me tell you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I did this one time for an old lady of mine. Just to see what she said. Just to see. And uh So, uh, oh, wait, onion first, onion first, because I want the butter to drizzle on the onion to drizzle on that. So you just take like a little handful, do a handful like this, and you like drizzle. Remember, I wash my hands. I wash my hands regularly. That's why I'm using my hands. My hands are clean. It's not one of those things like your mom would be saying. She say her hands clean. She ain't washed it since she went to the bathroom. Now my hands clean. I'm a, a germaphobe sometimes, especially when it comes to certain things. Somebody will tell you their hands is clean. You be like, what sink you use? They use the kitchen sink. You go to the kitchen sink, it's bone dry. You be like, oh man, don't say nothing though. <laughs> Normally, I would use the uh, the chop, you know, like a regular fresh onion, but it's a simple method, so we use a dehydrator. All right, so for the butter, you just want to take a little piece like that, just a little piece, and you want to place it in the chicken. See that? You want to place it in the chicken, just like that. You ain't got to get a whole lot. Sometimes you'll get a bigger piece. Just put it on a bigger piece of chicken. But you don't want to put too much butter in there because, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to be fat or whatever. Some people are like very nutritionist and stuff like that. I haven't reached that level and I don't plan on being that level. I like food and I like to eat. Yeah, you put a little drop of that, put a little dollop, hit every single one with them, feel me? Oh. Now, there's a certain type of butter that I particularly like. It's the, uh, it's the country crock. It's not this one, because this one say calcium. It's the country crock churn style. If you ever had the, con you know what I'm saying? If you ever had the country crock churn style, that's the, that's the OG butter. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one more than I like anything else, as far as butter is concerned. That's a little bit too much for that one, but it's all right. We done with that. And now we flip our chicken skins back over. Flipping the chicken skins way back over. All that's sealed. All that's going to be sealed. It's going to be good. And this is also the reason why I lined this with foil. Because like I said, it's going to be greasy. Actually, sometimes you'll have like a small piece of butter on a, on a big piece of chicken. You just switch the butter out like I'm doing right now. That's better. Make sure your butter, right? Make sure your butter is in the freaking meat. Sometimes you'll have like a piece of chicken like this. Just flip that over like that. All right. So now, what you do, you just smash it in there. Dap it in there. All right. Let me 
wash my hands. I'll be right back. It's still simple, right? This is this ain't hard. This ain't hard. This is not hard. All right. Now for my salt. I like this on top because that's how I like it. I'm going heavy because I'm going to cover this up with foil. And I'm going to show y'all the finished product. Either through my Discord or my community tab. Matter of fact, it's just going to be on the Discord and the community tab of YouTube. Because not everybody got my Discord. Not everybody's in my channel. All right. So, boom. That look edible, right? Look like some food that you would, that you, you know what I'm saying? That look edible. That's what you're going for. Like I said, you ain't got to put nothing on there. But if you want some flavor with that damn shit. Do it. Or my, or my foil. Oh, okay. So we done with this. Like I said, there's three ways you can do this. You can bake it like that, right? You could bake it. You could bake it like that first, or you could you could bake it like that, right? For the amount of time it's supposed to be baked for. Uh, something like this. Like I said, you put your put your thing to 350. Put your thing to 350 in 45 minutes. 45 minutes, everything's done. Everything's done, and that first bite is going to burst with flavor. And I mean burst. So, you know what I'm saying? Get your napkin ready. Okay? So you can bake it and then broil it so you can have the crispy uh, skin. Because some people like the crispy skin. I particularly like the crispy skin. But we're doing a simple method today. So I'm not going to do all that. Maybe in the future. Oh, Karumi. What's good, fam? Okay. So the method I'm doing with the full foil for the last time is gonna make the skin. It's gonna it's gonna make the skin uh, thicker. And and uh, tell me, it's, it's just gonna be a thicker skin. It's not gonna be crispy. It's gonna be uh, edible. Not chewy, but it's hard to explain. You got to try it for yourself and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Just cover it. Boom, we done. I'm about to throw this in the oven. Okay. Synchronize, guys. Scramble is here. Synchronize. Some people like to, uh, you feel me? Uh, I got a little timer on my, a little timer. When my 45 minutes is up, the, the oven gonna turn off. Okay. Now what you do is you'll clean up. Now what I'm about to do is clean up, you feel me? I'm not about to, uh, let this stuff pile up on me because I'm lazy. So if I do it now, if I do it now, you feel me? I ain't got to do it later. So I clean all this shit. Yeah, what's good, uh, Scrambles? Everybody synchronize. How you been, Scrambles? 
How are you enjoying this new year? And another reason why I be washing my hands and stuff, because uh, I don't like to touch my seasoning and it's like greasy or something. People, I don't know. You ever go to somebody's house and you grab the salt and it slip out your hand? <laughs> that ain't right. Thing on the list. I got mashed potatoes. Right. Next, uh, next two things on the list. We got some. Uh, we got some Annie's macaroni trees. I don't be doing craft. I like this. I like this. Uh, this brand right here. And we got some Betty Crocker. I just picked up some. I just picked up some. It's easy. Put some water in the pot. Boil it. It say a half cup milk, but there's a better method. I'm going to show you that. This also requires milk sometimes. This requires milk? Yeah. This requires milk. There's a better method. I'm going to show you. Took the trash out before I did this, so I, I gotta put a trash can in my uh, little trash can over there. Give me a second. So I'm not going to run this uh, stream for 45 minutes. I'm going to just prep this and put it in a pot. And then that's it. That's it. So I'm saying somebody else streaming. Y'all can go back to the regularly scheduled program. You know, I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. I think I am going to do it like that. <laughs> I just don't think this is enough. Alright. There's one more thing I'm going to add to this. And that's uh, vegetables. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, that. Always have vegetables with your meal. It makes it complete. I think this should go good, right? Make vegetables. Yes, it's frozen. No, I don't like it. But vegetables are vegetables. If you ever have like discoloration, right? If if you ever put the pot on the 
stove and turn the flame on and now you got this rainbow effect on the inside of your pot let me show you something you grab some vinegar right some 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 uh some distilled white vinegar it ain't gotta be this brand just some regular old vinegar and put like a cap full in there and scrub it don't put no soap don't put no water just put a cap full of vinegar in there and you're going to get rid of the discoloration. It's going to go right back to it uh, being silver. Fun fact. You didn't know that. Because I sure, certainly didn't. I learned that in... Uh, I put some water in here. That's all I did. I learned that in... Uh, job court. Learn how to cook. Shit, I need to, I need the scissors. Scissors dirty. I gotta clean the scissors. Put some soap on the scissors. <laughs> Don't just hit it with water. And I and I know it looks like I'm wasting a lot of stuff. But I buy in bulk so I can do that. And when you ain't got a whole lot, you feel me? And you don't buy in bulk, don't be doing what I be doing. Is seasoning water a thing? Yes, it is. Instead of water, you can put salt in there if you want. And I'm about to steam my vegetables. I didn't show you. I didn't show you. But this particular pot, this particular pot, can you see that? I put my vegetables here and the water in there. So when the flame hit it, when the flame hit it, right? The water started evaporating. It's gonna hit the uh, hit the vegetables. I got this type of pot, and it's better than putting it in the water. But yeah, you can definitely season your water. Me personally, I don't have none right now, but I like to use uh, vegetable broth, beef broth, chicken broth. You feel me? Bone broth. All these different broths instead of water. So it can taste good, especially with like macaroni and cheese. If you use some like chicken broth for this or vegetable stock, you feel me? Instead of actual water, it really brings out the flavors in all your food. But see, now I'm just steaming it. And I ain't got none. Vegetables are easy. You cook them until they're done. <laughs> Especially with the frozen stuff. You ain't got to worry about it. It's frozen. Cook it until it's warm. This stuff is different. Everybody likes to read the uh, thing with it. Right? And they feel like if they don't do it to the T. You feel me? Let me turn this off because I look scary. If, if they don't do it to the T. Right? To the very last letter, like right now, it says boil six cups of water. You don't have to boil six cups of water. You feel me? You, you can you can eyeball it. The uh, whenever you see instructions for box or packaged food, think of them as as guidelines instead of if I don't do it, it ain't gonna be right. Especially you know what I'm saying when it comes to to simple stuff. 
we'll take our little pot. And I'm sorry, I'm not reading the chat. Like, oh, Retro TBO and uh, Karumi. What's good, fam? And I think I saw Scrambles earlier. Who else here? Oh, yeah, Scrambles. I meant uh, Stuttering Stick. Yo. Like, right, that's good. You feel me? There ain't no damn six cups of water, but it, it's enough water. You just want it to boil. You want to cover the, the freaking uh, macaronis. That's it. They got to be six cups. My last little pot. Full course meal, feel me? Full course meal. Look at that. Chicken, uh, vegetables, macaroni and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Can't go wrong. All right, just say two and a half cups of water. And a half cup of milk. And three tablespoons. Alright, this is what we about to do. I'm about to go get some butter. I will follow the guidelines for mashed potatoes because if you put too much water in the mashed potatoes, oh man, I'm contradicting myself. But if you put too much water in the mashed potatoes, it'll be soupy. You don't want that. You want them to be firm. Guys were watching me earlier. I uh I scooped my my butter out and I took the butter off with my finger. Reason why I did that is because I want to use my butter for something else one day. So yeah. The butter. Yes, yes, retro tribion. The butter. Now it says, what did it say? Three tablespoons? Shit, I ain't doing that. I'm doing two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Is it really? I have no idea. But that looked like enough. And let me get my measuring cup. This bad boy been through war. I can't even see. I can't even see what was being said anymore on here because I use this so damn much. But I know where the things are. So one and a half. That's about one cup. Oh, that's a little bit under. Let me do it again. All right. Boom. One cup. Perfect. Halfway. Yes, that's halfway. Yes. Boom. One and a half. All right. We in this thing. Boil. Now, if you find yourself becoming impatient that the water's not boiling fast enough, let me show you something. A little dab of salt, right? Some you you really want to uh, idolize or whatever, but some sea salt is what I be using. Take a little bit of salt and pepper your water with it, and it'll expedite the uh, the process. Now the one with the butter in it got salt. Country fried. I know it got salt, but I'll put a dab in there. I'm done. That's it. I just got left the 
Ha! I was putting the salt in the refrigerator. my clips. All my clips gone. All my clips gone. All right. I don't want this to get frostbitten, so I got to find a... Uh... Oh, thanks for sharing the street stream, uh, Scrambles. Thank you. Oh, I got nine likes. I think that's the most I've ever had. Thank you. It was greatly appreciated. Let me go, uh... Let me go get a clip. Chips is using up all my clips. So I got to get another clip. I'll be right back. Nah, I don't care. You guys can see my house. Don't try to come to my house and murder me. <laughs> One time. The kids. All right. Spooky. My room's messy, so y'all can't see that. Let me just let y'all look at the sky. Are we looking? Hello. Acquired. I don't want my food to get frostbitten. You know, that's not a time capsule. People think it is, though. So, get all the air out. I like to make a little triangle and then I fold it down. Oh, you can't see that. I like to make a little triangle. Let me. Triangle. Fold it down. Just roll it down. I mean, that's good as it is. But I'm going to clip it. That's better. is what I be taking to work. You know, I, I'm in a, I'm an industrial painter now, and uh, I can't be uh, sitting there eating heavy foods, and going out all the time because shit costs. So I just stock up on these uncrustables right here. You guys ever had these? Definitely indulge. Feel me? Get one. Just get one and tell me how you like it. Dessert too? Nah, I'm tired. I gotta go to work tomorrow. It's already 6 39. I'm not, you know, you're not supposed to eat after 6. <laughs> so I ain't got no time for no sweets. But if I were to indulge, probably be this. I don't like banana split, but. Something cold, you feel me? I like uh, cookies and cream or strawberry without the strawberries in it. All right. This is boiling. You know, it's boiling on the side. We're going to put our noodles in. We're going to put our noodles in until they get soft. You can time it if you want, but if you think high heat, no, nah, you ain't got to think that. Just cook them until they soft. How you gonna check if they soft? Put a fork in there and pull one out and chew on it. That's how you do that. Simple method. Okay. 
But yeah. Oh yeah, those are fire. Yeah. Yeah. I uh <laughs> like today. I had took four of them to work and uh, uh, we was working with the uh, Golden Gate Bridge people. And, uh, dude, like, I saw him. His head popped up, and then he looked, and then he got out of his car, and he said, yo, can I get one of those? I said, man, I only got four. He said, uh, let me get you, let me get one, man. I'll give you $5 for it. I said, man, it's, it's not that serious. So I gave him one because he he really liked it. Always, oh, shit. put them little box noodles in there. Always stir your noodles so they don't clump up together. I was supposed to put some oil in there. Got the olive oil. Supposed to put some, put some oil in there so they don't stick together. Just put a little bit. Yeah. Two circles, one circle's fine. It ain't gotta be olive oil. Stir that up. Shit, can you see that? Stir that up. Just break all the noodles apart. That's it. Also, buy one of these for your oil. It looks elegant. Just elegant. Especially if you like drizzle some over your salad or something. Or if you're making a uh, Subway salmon, you just drizzle some olive oil on it. It'll make your, you know what I'm saying, your girlfriend or in this day and age, your significant other, because you can't put the label on it. Uh, make them think like you know what you're doing. Just like this whole meal, make them think like you know what you're doing. And you really don't know what you're doing. Shit. I started off with uh, spaghetti. My favorite meal. Nah, I lie. Burritos is my favorite meal. I just don't know how to fold a burrito. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? The chef doesn't know how to fold a burrito. But yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let me start, uh, Looking at this thing, you just got a McChicken with a with a free Big Mac. It only costs two sixty nine. Shit, a Big Mac here? No, a McChicken. Cause the dollar for, dollar menu ain't no dollar no more. It's like about two dollars. Inflation. But I ain't never got no free Big Mac. I might try that. Oh, your measuring cups are faded too? Yeah. You know, struggle be real. You buy one, uh, <laughs> you buy one measuring cup and that's supposed to last you until the, until the world ends. Yeah, I'd be watching my, uh, expiration dates. You tell your wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, if, if something hits the exact date, I don't touch it. I don't touch it at all. Shit. I forgot. I was also making a... Uh, I was also making uh, mashed potatoes. You guys check on that. See if that's boiling. It is. Let me show y'all. It's boiling. All right. So, we turn the heat off of the mashed potatoes. Take a little package. I guess I am going to show you guys the whole thing. <laughs> I guess I am. I didn't plan on it. All right. So the kind of remove it from, from the heat. When you're about to put your mashed potatoes in, you know, put down a little something. All right. So this is how I do it. Cause it say you want to put a half cup of milk in the mashed potato. Oh, come on, package. But 
I don't be buying milk. But I got milk. I just don't want to use it. All right. Actually, I can't use it because it got honey in it. I got this almond breeze. Here. Put it on it. 126.24. Ah. We're going to use sour cream instead of milk. Yes, you can. It was a local special. If the Cavs score over... 100 points in the last game, the free Big Mac with $2 purchase. Oh. Well, congratulations to the Cavs for scoring over 100. I'm going to stir my macaroni and cheese again because they don't take long, you feel me? Macaroni and cheese. In fact, I think they're done. All right. So we got my two utensils here. I'm going to scoop out. Shit. That's probably too much. I'm going to scoop out a healthy amount of sour cream, and I'm going to just drop it right there. Drop it right on top of that. So it looked like. Y'all can see that? Do one of these lights. Oh! Okay. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Y'all can see that, right? So, you just whip it. Whip it with your fork. I don't really have a lot of room in here, so I don't know if. <laughs> all right, you whip it with a fork. Really, you just want to touch all the dry flakes. Sorry about that. Really, you just want to touch all the dry flakes with the wetness. We done. We done with that part. Mashed potatoes done. Ain't nobody's looking. Taste it. You can do a taste test if y'all want. I like when people uh, do the factor or the, what is it called? The the fresh food uh, thing with you, and then they taste their food, and they be like, mm, mm, that's a tasty burger. <laughs> that should be killing me. You know it's not that good. It's just sustenance. All right. Yeah, that's good, though. Now that's some tasty taters. Actually, that is kind of good. What is that? Butter and herb. Okay, Betty Crocker, I see you. Got them skills. All right. Now, I got to drain my noodles. First, I got to try my noodles. My noodles. Pick you up some noodles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's good. You want them? You want them squishy and some people like El Dante. I just say cook them all the way through. One thing's supposed to be crunchy. And cereal and chips. <laughs> and whatever 
or else it's supposed to be crunchy. Grab yourself a strainer. You don't need to see this, do ya? But you can if you want. Can you see that? Probably not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Watch the whip whip. Oh, watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. <laughs> Now, there's, there's a way you're supposed to do this, right? Especially if you have spaghetti. People tell you to take the back of the strainer like so, place it in your pot, and pour the water out. But simple method today. Just going to pour it in there like that. Make sure all the noodles... Or drain. I like to like. Feel me? Woo! Okay. I like to do that. Um, in the pot, we gonna we gonna uh take some of this sour cream. Oh shit! Where the box go? I don't really need it. I'll read it. The box say one fourth cup of milk and two teaspoons of butter. And I put my butter up for the second time. That was stupid. So that's way too much, but oh well. Remember, you can use sour cream instead of milk. Y'all didn't see that. Now you might be asking yourself, why is he putting the sour cream and the butter in before the noodles? Well, the noodles are hot, so it's going to melt the butter and it's going to melt the sour cream and I need all of that to get moistened up with that. So when I drop the cheese in it, it look all right. How much butter? Who cares? That's enough. Throw a little bit more just because. All right. Take the noodles. Don't go crazy with it. Make sure all the noodles go back in the pot. Okay. So we got the noodles on top of the sour cream on top of the butter. I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. Feel me? Open up the cheese. Milk does make it soupy, but sour cream makes it taste better. All right. So we just want to touch all the noodles with the yellow, which is your cheese. That's all you want to do. Some people like to, if you want to make it look fancy, you sprinkle a little bit of pepper in there or some salt. Pepper will go good. Pepper and cheese go together like mac and cheese.
Well, they smell like Cheetos. All right. Here we are. Here's the consistency. I'm going to let that sit and settle. It's not soupy. But it is good. If you ever, like, have some cheese on your... Just keep whipping it until it come off. If it can't come off, grab another utensil and scrape that off. Like I'm about to do. Okay. Y'all didn't see that? Okay. Let me show y'all my work. Actually, let's go over here because light, light good over here. Soupy, it's not runny, everything hit good. Feel me? That's all you gotta do. Okay. We got eight minutes on the chicken. Technically, I can take it out right now, but I let it go for a little bit. Because I want to make sure my vegetables. Oh, they done. Well, got my macaroni and cheese here. Got my macaroni and cheese utensil. Got my fat utensil. That's the one I was looking for. And we got our uh, vegetable utensil. And then to grab the chicken. Got the tongs. Put this back on here, like so. Yeah, seven minutes. I'm a, I'm gonna take it out in two. I'm gonna take it out in two, cause I'm kind of hungry, and I know, I know how uh, my food, I know how my food will go. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna show y'all, and I'm gonna eat. And I'm not gonna let y'all watch me eat, cause. <laughs> I be like shoveling in my food. You feel me? Like I literally just <sighs> one bite, one bite kill. You feel me? But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all y'all gotta do. If you ever um, you know what I'm saying? You ever think you can't do something? Don't let your mind tell you you can't. You feel me? Always, always try. This right here, what I'm showing you, you sit down more than you cook. You sit down more than you cook. I, I could have just sat down for the 45 minutes. Normally, I put my um, my vegetables on, and then I don't cook my macaroni and cheese or my uh, other side until it's halfway done. So you could just make the chicken, put it in the oven, sit down for about 20 minutes, then whip up everything else and just let it all get done. So you you sitting down out of the full 45 minutes, you're sitting down at least 30 minutes of it. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You get back to gaming, put that on, make sure you got a timer on, on it, sit down, do whatever you're about to do. Yeah. Especially like today, I, I worked all day today. And I, I don't be sitting behind no desk. I, I do some real physical work, so... The more I can sit down and, you know what I'm saying, not have to sit there and, and, and make it, you know, top notch like it's supposed to be, the better. So this simple method worked well. And again, I apologize for uh, for yesterday. I took a nap about 3 o'clock. I woke up at 10.30 p.m. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't. I don't know how that happened. I don't take naps. But that, yesterday, I was like, man, I gotta sleep. 
It could take to prep the heater. Oh, take time to prep. Yeah. I'm a, I'm going to try to start modifying slash building guitar pedals. Never done it before, but I can learn. Yeah. Yeah. I've never, my extent knowledge of playing guitar is guitar hero. I would love to know, know how to play the guitar. Pretty sure I can do bass. Wee. <laughs> Pretty sure I could do bass, but you know what I'm saying? I never actually tried to play a guitar. I would like to. I just never did it. I did acquire a, a blacklist paw before or a less paw before that was black. Somebody stole it from me before I even got the chance to use it. So that kind of put a damper into my... Uh, yeah, Guitar Hero was my shit. No lie. No cap. I was pretty good. You know, you know, you uh you got four fingers, but there's like five buttons, right? I could always use that uh that other button. I might not get like a hundred percent every time, but I can stay in the mid eighty to ninety area. Yeah. Guitar Hero is great, yeah. Oh, and Rock Band. Yeah, Rock Band games. Okay, so with Rock Band, I never actually played the drum or utilized the microphone. But, um... It's a two-minute. I'm gonna let it go. Uh, but yeah, I, uh... I never actually used anything other than the guitar. But I wanted to. Damn, I'm tired. My eyes are red. I must have been synchronizing too much. <laughs> yeah, I must have been synchronizing too much. Zombie, how you been? And everyone else. Oh, shit, I got 12 likes. I think that's that's Hall of Fame numbers for me. Thank you, guys. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> You're draining my chi. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. You guys are, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool, you know? I don't really uh, do these uh, other types of streams. I'll just be playing video games. But I ain't played no video game and I don't know how long. And I, and I know I've been missing up on my uh, Sage Wisdoms. I'm going to give y'all a little preview of the one that I have uh, cooking up. I'm going to tell it to y'all, but y'all going to see it later. It's, uh, and don't take advantage of this one, right? But freedom isn't free if you don't have the freedom to make mistakes. Ooh, that's cold, ain't it? That's cold. Uh, uh, somebody told me about that one. I, I, ain't, I ain't come up with that, right? Somebody told me about that one. But that was a good one. I liked it. One man to left. Let's go. By the time I get there, it should be every time. As a chef, I'm counting in my head while I'm doing what I'm doing. So I knew how long it was going to be. All right, I'm about to take this out and I'm gonna let y'all see. Fun fact, foil doesn't transfer heat, so you can touch it. It was in the oven. This, how the food does transfer heat, but foil, it does not transfer heat. So if it's touching the flame or like Angel, it was just in the oven on 350 for 45 minutes, you could touch that shit because it does not transfer heat. 
It, it's not even hot. That's weird. But that's just the way whoever made foil made it. And this is the finished product. Look at that. Kicking chicken. Y'all can see that, right? Now that one's mine. That one's mine. That one's mine. And that one's mine. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and the vegetables, they done. Y'all can see that? Y'all can see that? Boom. Vegetables done. Mashed potatoes. Mashed up. Perfect. The uh, macaroni and cheese, not soupy. Feel me? Oh shit, you didn't see that. Not soupy, stuck together. Mashed potatoes, they all fluffy and shit. You see? You see? Oh, 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 that way. I can't see if y'all can see. Oh, there we go. Feel me? Firm. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. And of course, the chicken. Woo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Put the light on this smoke. Here we go. So what I was talking about is, uh, try to get real close. Oh, shit. Try to get real close. So as you can see, the skin is solid. It's solid and that look good. That look good. That look like your mama made it or something. <laughs> but yeah, do that. You know what I'm saying? Do all those things you saw me do today. Do all those things you saw me do today. That's how you make the chicken. Very simple. Very easy. Um, you make it for your family. You make it for your significant other. Hell, you can even make it for yourself, and you, you'll never fail. Um, this is the first episode of Yasuke's Cooking Corner. I plan on doing other things. I'm going to try to do 31 meals. I mean, y'all can just figure out how y'all going to rotate it, If you know what I'm saying, if y'all following my method, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Um, 31 meals, that's a month. Right now, I don't know when the next episode gonna be, but just stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. But yeah, uh, this meal has been brought to you by Acclaim. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, y'all. Uh, shit. I can still hear me, right? I can still hear me, right? Oh, y'all can hear me better like this. Cool, cool. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely check this this video out. Share it to your friends, family, or whatever. Emulate it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I was thinking of doing spaghetti because that's also very easy, very simple. But who knows, right? Whenever I uh, figure out what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to let y'all know. But yeah, peace be with y'all. Remember to stay positive. It's greatly appreciated that all of you guys, you know what I'm saying, uh, came through. Feel me? Chicken so good, make you want to smack your mama. Willie, what you doing? <laughs> hey, I like part two the best, but that that is the best, yeah. But yeah, uh, I'm about to I'm about to indulge myself. I'm about to indulge myself, so uh, I can go to sleep, then go to work tomorrow. <sighs> I got to exercise. I'm gonna just do I'm gonna just do core workouts.
I'm gonna just do cool. I gotta do core workouts, y'all. This, this is the year. Look, that's my stomach. All that's my stomach taking up two fingers. I'm fat. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably because I, you know, I eat a lot, and I, I gotta, uh, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't be, uh, be fat out here, man. I'm not weak. I'm just big, heavy set. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go eat, y'all. Y'all uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Make sure you guys uh, check out each other's channels. I don't know who's streaming right now. But uh, whoever's streaming, check them out. You know what I'm saying? Show them love. Every time you go to somebody's channel, try to like and share it. You ain't got to tell them you did it. Just do it. I be doing it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It helps out all of us in the community. We all have different paths and different journeys and different... Uh, goals when it comes to this social media and youtube stuff but it's always a good thing when somebody you know what i'm saying you look at your algorithm i mean you look at your youtube studio and you see that somebody dropped a light you know what i'm saying that might brighten somebody's day you know what i'm saying so check it out yeah <laughs> you you could lose uh 20 or 30 yeah i could use a good like i said i'm i'm only five seven and I'm about 240 pounds, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to lose at least 20 or 30, yeah, about 20 or 30. At least this gut, you know what I'm saying? I got to at least lose the gut. My arms are good. My legs are good. It's my gut. I, I just got to uh, strengthen, my, strengthen my core. That's all I got to do. I don't, I don't like cardio. I never did cardio. Never did cardio. I never did, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't work on my endurance. Like if I work out, I could do I could do 10 sets of 50, no problem. But I don't do them every 30 seconds like I'm supposed to. I do it <laughs> like every minute, maybe every two minutes, sometimes every five minutes. You feel me? So I, I, I don't work on endurance. That's That's one of my issues. But uh, yeah, I'm about to eat. Hope, hopefully you guys had a great night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your time here. Um, I did not mean to stream for an hour and 33 minutes. I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, peace be with y'all. Remember to stay positive. Oh, you're 5'8". <laughs> We're the same height. Yeah, I, yeah, I got to use, I got to lose weight. Yeah, we're, we're about the same height. You're probably an inch taller than me. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, y'all, y'all enjoy y'all time. We the same height. I was about two forty, and now I dropped about fifteen pounds. You, you, you need your goal to be about one ninety. I would like to stay about two twenty muscular. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. I got the good arms. I got some legs. I would like a six pack to go with. You know what I'm saying. My arms. My arms ain't the biggest. You feel me? But I'm not weak. You know, I, I don't like curls. Shit, all I do is push-ups. But I haven't been doing any. I don't think I've worked out for the last three years. So I've just been sitting, watching TV, playing video games. I'll get up and do whatever I got to do, and then I go back sit down. And then, you know what I'm saying, I synchronize a lot. So I don't really... uh like I, like you see, I don't really eat healthy. I don't put a whole bunch of salt in my food, but I don't eat as healthy as one would if they wanted to lose weight, if that makes sense. Like I said, I'm about to put five pieces of those thighs and a whole bunch of all of that other stuff, whatever I can stack on the plate, and that's my dinner. And then I'm about to go to sleep. What time is it? It's 7.14. I'm not supposed to be eating after 6 if I want to lose weight. Because I, I ain't going to do nothing but pass out anyway. Nah, my hands are kind of, my hands are kind of small. Hands are small. I, I broke this hand. I broke this hand. You see that protruding bone right there? Yeah, I broke it. I never went to the hospital. But it still worked. It still worked. Look. See that? We got my knuckles, 
these two knuckles are gone, broke it. That's not how my knuckle's supposed to be. So, yeah. You've been going ham on these chocolate edibles at the gas station. <laughs> All of those thumb press stritten the controller grip. I know, right? The one thing I can't do that I always envy people can do is when they be tapping the uh, button hella fast. I can never do that. I can never tap fast. You know, some people think of... I can't even do that. I'd be like... Tick, 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 tick. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to eat. I'm hungry. Yeah. So uh, yeah, peace be with you. Remember, stay positive. Manifest your reality. Embrace your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Always protect your honor and soldier. Um, make sure you subscribe to all these people that you see in chat. I'm going to uh, put the chat replay up on there so y'all can see it again after this, you know, goes through and does what it has to do. And, um, yeah, I'm going uh, to... I go to work tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to have a, a, a Final Fantasy Friday. But I do know that I missed um, about three. So if I miss this one, it's just going to be a marathon one when I do have a day off. And we're going to finish Final Fantasy 3. Because I was supposed to finish it last year, to be honest. But I've been so busy that I haven't actually gotten the chance to, to sit down and play a video game. I, I go to work. I Man. I go to work, I come home, all I got time to do is sleep, right? I don't even be eating all the time. But I came home early today because uh, I work early today. So tomorrow's going to be an early day too. Like I start early, I should be getting home early, but I'm, I am I drive for like an hour. Like tomorrow I'm going to be an hour away. So even if I stop working at 3, no, even if I stop working at 4, I don't get home until five. My uh, Final Fantasy streams start at six, so it might be a discrepancy. We'll we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll see. You know what I'm saying it is called Final Fantasy Fridays, but for four, it might just be called Final Fantasy. But I I like I would like it to be only on Fridays. That was the whole point of me starting the whole Final Fantasy Friday thing. Anyway, I, I started ranting again. Um, Ty Lord, Zombie, Scrambles, Retro Tibion, The Shiny Hunter, uh, Zomb uh, I said Zombie, Stuttering Stick. Who else was here? Sir Jacob, LCX, right? Um, Karumi, and Vinny. Sir Jacob, Black Money Corp. These are the names that you guys should be uh, checking out, by the way. And that is all, right? That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oof. Caught you. All right, yeah, oof. All those names I just named. Subscribe to the channel. Check them out and everything. And um, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the West Coast. I'm on the West Coast. I'm in Cali. I'm in Cali. Yeah. When I uh, make enough money to... Uh, Actually, when I stop being a journeyman, you know, I'm an apprentice right now. But when I become a journeyman and I finish that, I think I want to live in Canada for the rest of my days. You know, peace. Peaceful place. Be up there in the north. I'll be another king in the north. Hopefully, uh, Great White North doesn't invade my providence. <laughs> but his empire is so strong. But yeah. Much love from Cleveland. Ohio is a peaceful place. That's that's the Cleveland you're talking about, right? Ohio. It's a peaceful place. But uh yeah, bend the knee. That's my new favorite line. I don't know why. Uh LCX said it one day and it just stuck with me. I don't know. I like that. I like that line. And I've 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 heard it before, you know what I'm saying, but it's not Oh, oh, you've been in Ohio your whole life? That's crazy. I've never been in one place my whole life. I could not fathom what it's like not to explore. You know, there's a whole planet. How you not? How are you only in one one spot? 
Got to look around, man. There might be something out there for you. You might find a fountain of youth. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm going to let you guys do what y'all doing. I'm going to eat. I think my food cooled off now. So yeah. Peace. I don't have no outro music for y'all. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah. Swag like Ohio. Yeah, yeah. All right, peace. Peace.